Hi there and welcome to this video in the IBM Cloud Foundation skill series. Okay, so this video we're going to continue with, with our account creation, so we've created an account already. Um, what we're going to do in this video is actually have a, go through the first login and I'll also give you a bit of a guided tool. So um, what we need to do is get a browser session open and go to console.bluemix.net. Okay, so here we are where we actually left off uh, in the last video. So um, all I need to do here is uh, press the login button, but obviously if you're not there, then go to console.bluemix.net. Uh, okay, so this is this is the login screen. So as you can see, uh, my uh, my credentials are here. So I'm james.tsme.gmail.com. So all I need to do is click login, and uh, there we go. So so the first thing you get is um, is is uh, messages about your IBM ID account privacy. So um, you may want to go through this and and read it. Um, I'm going to just click proceed, um, but um, as I say, you should probably have a quick look through that to make sure you understand it and you agree with it. Um, and um, there we go. So we're now we're now actually logged in. We get a nice welcome splash screen. So um, so that's great. So we can uh, uh, we can maybe move on to that. Click next, and um, again, it gives you a little bit of a um, a little bit of a view of um, things that you can actually do with the cloud there. So we'll close that anyway. So um, so here we go. So this is your dashboard. Um, so as a bit of a guided tour, your dashboard is always the place where you um, actually start off when you when you log into the cloud. And what you'll see um, here is any applications or any services that you've actually started to build or you've actually um, or you've actually already created. So if you want to see the uh, um, different types of resources here, so if you click on the hamburger, you can see the different um, bits and pieces that you can go to. So this means there's the infrastructure there. Um, you can, uh, if we go back to, um, say, Cloud Foundry, um, then you can see the different Cloud Foundry options. Um, let's go back to let's go back to our dashboard. However, let's click Cloud IBM Cloud there, and clicking IBM Cloud will always take you back to this dashboard. So the other important links that you see up here are catalog. So if we click catalog, um, then you can see all the different. Um, Things are available to you in the catalog. The thing to note here is that um, obviously we're in a light account, um, so what this is, all this is going to show you by default, are services that actually have light plans and you can actually use with with a light account. So you'll see here there's a search bar. Um, if you want to see all of the, uh, if you want to see all of the different um, services, then just remove that, um, and then you just take that filter off, and then you can see everything in there in the account. You can also go through the. Uh, through the different sections. Um, if you just want to put that filter back in there, just press label colon light, and there you go. There's the uh, the, the, the different um, light services again. If you want a particular service, uh, then what you can do, for instance, is type in Cloudant, um, and then that will bring the the service up for you. So clicking the Cloudant service, for instance, what that then does is uh, bring up a little bit more information about the, the Cloudant service, so you can read a bit about it here. And then it gives you the uh, the, the different types of plans. So um, as you can see, we're, we're defaulting to a light plan. So that gives you uh, a gigabyte of data storage. Um, it gives you a certain number of lookups and writes per second. Um, you do actually see the different types of um, other plans as well, so the standard plan and dedicated hardware plan. Um, but as you see, you'll need to upgrade to actually um, uh, create any of these. So let's go back to uh, let's go back to our dashboard. Uh, the next link um, I'll show you is is here is docs. So uh, we've got uh, you know the documentation on the IBM Cloud is pretty comprehensive. So again, you can you can look through all of this to uh, access any documentation about any of the services, or if you get stuck, um, this is a good place to come and and have a, a first good look. Um, Next up, you've got support. So, as I said, you get a basic level of support with all with all accounts, which is free. Um, so that allows you to um, access the support center. You can add tickets, you can view your tickets, and this one's quite important. Um, status. So, if you click on status, um, you can actually then get a view as to what's actually happening in the cloud at the moment. So, if you find that uh, a service doesn't seem to be working, then you can go and see the status status of it and see if there's anything actually down at the moment or if there's any maintenance going on and that kind of thing. So you just come into here and uh, you can see that at the moment there's uh, you know there's no there's no current outstanding incidents. You can have a look at some announcements as well. So again in here you can quite often see that there's uh, 
uh, maintenance schedules. Um, but uh, but generally, if, if something's not quite right and you and, and it could be that the service is down, then if you click support and status, um, then then that's a good place to go and check it as a first point. Okay, so then going into these these manage um, screens, um, what you can then see in there is your account. You can see things like billing and usage. Um, you can see security um, and then and then privacy. So if we go into uh, if we go into billing and usage, let's say so if we go into billing. Then these are the, uh, the the various billing screens. So at the moment you can see that. Uh, so this gives me some my account information. So um, you can see this is my account. You can see my account ID. Um, Sometimes you need to know that. And um, you can see the account types. It's obviously a light account. So if you find that uh, you know if you think that you might be able to create certain services and you're not able to, then it's a good thing to do is to just go and create uh, check your account type. Um, if you do want to um, actually upgrade your account and you actually want to pay as you go account. Um, then what you can do is actually um, check this button here, uh, and then what it actually asks you to do is uh, obviously filling a bit more information about yourself, um, adding your credit card number and expiry date and those kinds of things. So I'm not going to do that now on this particular account. Um, also, if you have any uh, promotion codes, so if, for instance you're a student, um, you might find that you're able to, um, you might be able to get um, student discount codes or um, codes which allow you free access to um, standard services. Uh, for a period of time so if you get one of those codes and I might make a video a bit later on about that um, so if you get one of those codes you can uh, you can actually apply that code here um, if you want to have um, EU support um, so for instance you're located in the European Union and you must have um, support carried out by other people that are in the European Union then you can switch that on here um, if you need um, HIPPA support you can you can enable that here as well and also if you decide that you want to deactivate your account and uh, you know we, we certainly hope you never get to uh, get get anywhere near wanting to to actually deactivate your account but if you do actually want to deactivate your account then you can do that here as well um, by pressing this button and uh, you know we'll obviously um, ask you why you want to leave um, but um, um, you, you, you then have to confirm that you, that you actually want to do this so um, I, I don't want to dis uh, cancel my account so I'm going to uh, uh, click cancel there okay so um, there's other things you can do here so for instance if you want to update a, a photograph of yourself so other people can see who you are um, you can uh, turn on things like ana analytics um, tracking uh, which is quite useful uh, which help IBM actually improve the experiences um, platform notifications this is actually quite a good one so um, if for instance you want to um, be made aware of any announcements that uh, are affecting the platform so for instance something's gone down and uh, it's affecting the platform if you turn that on then you'll get an email notification to the uh, to the email address that you signed up to your account with and, and also um, also for any planned maintenance you can turn those on as well so um, so if you want to know about those leave them on I'm going to leave them off for now um, and then what we can look at is the usage dashboard so at the moment this is obviously going to be um, fairly uh, fairly blank and uninteresting because we haven't actually done anything and in fact if you have a light account then you're you're never actually really going to see very much in here because as I say all of your billing will be uh, will be at zero cost so um, so later on I'll do uh, a, another lab um, on uh, one of my pay as you go accounts you'll be able to see some of the um, some of the usage in there and you'll be able to see what this this actual dashboard looks like so here you can see uh, two more buttons here for uh, the Cloud Foundry organizations and resource groups. Um, I'm going to do a, a video about those in a moment, so it's going to be another lecture uh, which will be coming your way very soon. Um, so, um, so, so you will need to know about these, so it is definitely worth um, looking out for those lectures and, and uh, indeed watching them. Okay, so that's um, logging into your account for the very first time. Um, what I'll quickly show you is, is how to create a simple service. So um, if we go to catalog and uh, what we're then going to do is go to uh, let's go to Cloud Foundry and SDK for Node.js. Um, so what this will do is create a, a runtime for uh, Node.js and what you'll get is a, uh, is a, is a nice website that um, pretty much says hello world. So what we'll do is enter a unique name. So this needs to be unique um, because this will form part of the URL for the application. So I'm going to call this um, James Test Node App, 
Um, so what you'll then find is that the, the URL for this application becomes jamestestnode.app.eugb.mybluemix.net. Um, I'm going to choose a, a, a region or a location to deploy it in. So again, because I'm in London, I'm going to uh, I'm going to stick with London. But um, depending on where you are in the world, you might want to um, you might want to choose a different option. Um, so so generally, what you do is you choose the uh, the, the region or the location that's closest to you. Um, well, I'll come through to the organization in a moment, but the organization is basically going to be uh, be my default organization in my default space. Um, and um, what I will then do, um, so what you can then see is that uh, you can see the, um, the the amount of memory that we actually want to um, provide this um, service with. To start with, I'm going to stick with 64 megabytes because it's not going to really be doing very much. And I'm just going to create, click the Create button and off we go. Okay, so there we go. It is uh, it is now creating, and it's now starting. So I'm not going to do too much with this application other than actually show you it um, started up, and then uh, give you a view of what it looks like when we go back to the old dashboard. Okay, so that's just taken a couple of minutes to create. What's happened under the covers is it's um, actually um, dedicated some compute resources to you, uh, and then in installed the, uh, the the necessary code to give you an environment um, to, to to work in. I'm just going to uh, visit the app URL, um, and there you can see I've got a, a nice hello world um, splash screen there, and a thanks for creating the Node.js starter application. So now if I go back to my uh, my my dashboard, um, you can see that my my application is there. Um, you can see that I've created it in London, and um, you can see that it's now running. The other thing I can do from here, of course, is actually stop the app. So I'm going to stop the app. Um, so I'm going to just click stop there and that will just um, stop the application for me. Okay, so that's it for our, our first look at the IBM Cloud and logging into an account for the first time. So what we did was we discovered how to log in at console.bluemix.net. Uh, we walked through some of the more important screens in your account and uh, we obviously also created our first service. Okay, and that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, if you're ready, let's move on to the next one.